This iPhone 12 mini, perfect on the outside, but the screen is completely shattered, damaged, and unresponsive. Let me show you how you can fix this. Like for any screen replacement today, we need a heat gun to heat the front of the device. After heating the front of the device with the screen heated, if your screen is not badly cracked, you can use a suction cup to pull the screen out of the frame of the device. And after that, you insert a tool in to widen the gap between the screen and the frame of the device. Use your heat gun every time you have some resistance while removing the screen. The flex cables are on the left of the screen. You need to be very careful while inserting your guitar pick on that area. Especially the flex cable for the face ID and other component attached to the front of the screen do you see these cables that is the cables that i was talking about so for the iphone 12 mini we need to open the device from right opening to the left after opening the device make sure that you support the screen because of the flex cables after that you have to remove two retaining plates one in the middle and the other one at the top of the device now we just need to remove the flex cable of the battery and after that we can proceed in removing the flex cables screen flex cable one in the middle and the other one is at the top connected to the motherboard you we have completed the first step in this iPhone 12 mini screen replacement. Carefully remove the broken screen out of the device. After that we need to remove all the remaining glue, all the double sided tape that is still attached inside the frame of the device. Once we have removed all that we can start working on the new screen. We need to transfer the earpiece out of the old screen onto the new screen. And to do that we will be removing 4 screws, 2 on the top and 2 at the bottom. So this is a critical part. You need to take your time in removing the earpiece because it is made out of some really tiny flex cables. You have the big piece flex cable but it is attached with some really thin flex cable and it is very small. It is critical to hit the front and then you can grab the part and start to pull on it very slowly. Do not use excessive force because you risk to damage the flex cable and as you can see it, it is very tiny and you know probably why they made it that small. If you accidentally break anything on this, your face ID is gone and there is no way to recover it. The reinstallation is practically the same thing. You need to insert the smaller piece of flex cable and sensors first and then push the earpiece to its final position. After that, you can insert all the four screws that you removed. Very important, put the screws to their original position and do not over tight any of these screws. And make sure the flex cable on the left of the camera hole is not pinched after installation. Give it a final inspection and we can move to the installation of the new screen. We need to connect two flex cables, one at the top of the device on the motherboard and the other flex cable need to be attached in the middle of the phone to the motherboard. Depending on the position, installation and connection of this flex cable can be a pain. You just need to have the right position to connect all these motherboard flex cables. Everything has been connected we can check the screen and make sure that it is a fully functional screen and if the touch screen is responding this is the standard notification that apple push to scare you after you change a component inside their device so the origin of the screen does not matter the screen installed on this device is an apple original screen that was taken out of the device on the left so after a screen repair we do not have true tone true tone has been disabled after doing a screen repair face id is fully functional after doing a screen replacement on this iPhone 12 mini. The brightness also does work automatically, it has not been disabled. Apart from the true tone, everything else is working perfectly, as opposed to what was happening when this device just came out. After a screen replacement, you need to replace the double-sided tape that goes between the new screen and the frame of your device. To install the double-sided tape, you need to remove the screen out of the device, disconnect all the flex cables that are coming from the screen, and work on the frame of the device only for a perfect double-sided tape installation. A lot of parts come with the double-sided tape already installed on the back of the new screen. So if you have one of those, you do not need to do this and you can proceed in the installation of the screen directly. Let's connect all the flex cables and add the retaining plate and then we can proceed into the final step to complete this screen replacement. I will have into the description all the tools and parts that you need to complete this repair. While closing out the device, you can hear some clicking sounds. It means that the screen is fully seated on the frame of the device. After that, we need to reinsert the screws that we removed. And if your device does not turn on after you complete a repair on an iPhone, try the charging cable. And if that does not work, there is something wrong and you need to troubleshoot your device. On that, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like and share. And I will see you next time.